Hey guys, so I figured I'm gonna do a get ready with me. I don't even know what we're gonna talk about. I just know it's been forever since I got in front of the camera and talked to you guys. So. Third shift life is crazy. I think uh, it's harder to work third shift for me. I think working any shift is hard for me because I don't like being away from my kids. <laughs> is that weird? I mean, I'm not. A, I don't like being a stay-at-home mom, but at the same time, I like being a stay-at-home mom. But I like. I have to work, though. I have to do something with my time, with my energy, and feel like I'm doing something for myself. That's why I kind of got into blogging and YouTube. So yeah. I pretty much slept through the whole eclipse craze thing yeah i slept through the whole thing so i missed out that's where it's like third shift is kind of hard because you feel like you missed out on what's happening during the daytime but there is a bonus to work in third shift everybody's sleeping and for some reason, for me, I work better when everybody. Oh, sorry, guys. I work better when I'm when everybody's sleeping. Even if I stay home and or work from home, it would be easier. Does that make sense? Yeah, it, it would be easier for me to um, get things done. I don't know why I'm a night owl. Like I prefer to be up late at night to get work done. That's just how I am. Especially when it comes to writing, like that's like the main thing. Cause most of my ideas come during the day and usually I'm busy with the kids during the day, but working third shift I gotta use like I gotta utilize my time be like on point with time management and like moments like this where I'm talking to you guys but I'm also doing my makeup because I ain't get ready for work but I won't have time to uh, do certain things because the editing is more time consuming, but it's not as hard as I made it out to be, if that makes sense. Certain things, like it just takes an extra couple minutes for me to do it, but as long as I stay on top of my time. for my eyebrows. I don't do nothing exciting. You guys know I have no eyebrows. But... <clears throat> from third shift to a first shift position which I'm allowed to if I if there's an opening for now I'm just gonna do it like this Let's see what happens because I see myself there long term I just I, I think I got the eyelash out finally 
I think I'll be there long term. For a while. And I like what I do. People are actually nice. Down, down here compared to Pennsylvania. Oh, if you're wondering, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Dip in Ebony. I tried dark brown, but it was too red tone for me. So I had to go to Ebony because it's a little on a warm side instead of red. Yeah. So it just didn't work for me. I just made it as much as I can to make it look natural. If that makes sense. Which... I'm honest with everybody, they ain't natural. I paint mine on. I have to. Um, at work, I can't really do anything exciting because it has to be up. Like, I can do styles, but, but it has to be up to styles. And honestly, y'all already know my go-to, the mom bun, or whatever that other shit I do sometimes. Like the big boom bun type of thing and yeah I sometimes I'll go in with this um usually it's like the third day today's the f first day of a wash already yesterday was the day I washed it today is day one um and I got those from influencer I didn't purchase them with my own money if you guys were wondering but mostly I use Mario Badescu, the facial spray, the pink bottle, because I know they just came out with like a green bottle or something. Which I'm gonna try. My face, the curls. Regardless if it was going up or not, but. I go buy the big bottle and I go through like two or three a year. <laughs> I try to stock up when it's income tax time. That's what I try to do on all my skincare. Like most people go out and splurge on makeup. I go and try and splurge on beauty products and it's something that I've been doing for the past three years and my skin has benefited way better like i have some moments where like i have a breakout but then it goes away because of my skincare is it depends on my hormones and i honestly think being pregnant is what killed my skin because she was a girl like that whole midwives tell but yeah i i really do like she sucked all my beauty from my face <laughs> Because ever since I had her, uh, my face has gotten so much better. I just have dark spots everywhere, like pigmentation. And I just got a product that I'm going to be trying out. I'm in the works of trying out. I'm afraid to use new products because of the simple fact that my skin is so sensitive that I don't want another breakout. Because <laughs> not everything works great for my skin. I don't know the hard way. That's all I do. And I put it up for work. And it's too hot outside to leave it out. Anyways, way too hot. My hair's way too long. It's um, at my butt. Okay. I don't need all the hair on my neck. <laughs> I 
And sometimes you just gotta adjust it in the back to work for you. People use poly pens. I got time for that mess. I'm just saying, I don't. I try to just. I would wear use biome, but I personally don't like doing my hair. That's just something I've never liked doing. So I tried to do the easiest things, <laughs> styles. I don't. If anything, I'll do like a twist on the side and put my hair up. It's this, but this is just, just me. I'm sorry. Nothing exciting. But yeah. I'm not even gonna edit it because it's like already 10 minutes. <laughs> but that's pretty much what I do. I don't. It's what I wear, look like on a daily basis. I rarely ever wear makeup anymore. I just don't have the time for it. And when I do have the time, I just want to take it off. Like, I'm, I just can't. I can't do it. I feel like Alicia Keys sometimes, like, just keep me bare. I can't do all that extra stuff. My skin don't like where my job is. It's extremely humid, so I become like a huge grease ball and excuse how dirty this is, but I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spray. Yes, sometimes, but it's humid, so I usually. As of for like any kind of makeup that's all I pretty much use I don't use anything else I'm good I'm happy sometimes I spray it down the middle because that's the part that I need to because it'd be my eyebrows that's all shiny middle of my forehead right here I'm gonna bridge my nose all right here all the chin the only thing that's not oily is right here. <laughs> it's crazy. I sometimes I'll take it with me to work. Sometimes I don't. It depends if I remember. But yeah, I use this. And same thing with this. I try to stock up in the beginning of the year so I can just have it for the whole year. It's just easier for me to maintain my skincare. Because if I buy it, I'm going to use it because... I went through my phase of ordering beauty products. I've been there. That's how I get ready for work. Nothing exciting, nothing extravagant. It is all this, that's it. But if you guys wanna see more Get Ready With Me's, I'll probably do some with like the kids um, cause it's more interesting with the kids cause we all know their personalities is crazy. <laughs> But yeah, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.